Hello again, so let's go ahead and continue on with another micro lecture. This one's going to focus on the idea of slope and what it means on a position versus time graph or a distance versus time graph. Uh, and we'll talk about the slight difference between them in a moment. Remember three bullet points of notes, one to two sentence summary, and your follow-up questions. All right, so the main idea for this entire micro lecture is this idea that slope of a position versus time graph is velocity. So what that means is if we have this position time graph over here and we can figure out the slope of the line, that gives us the velocity uh, of the object that this represents, in this case a marble rolling on a table. If we're looking at a distance versus time graph, the slope just means speed. Basically the same thing, but it's based on distance, so it comes out to speed, whereas changes in position gives us displacement. So if the rise, in this case, for calculating slope as we kind of look at our rise, is displacement, since change in position is displacement, then the run gives us the amount of time. Well, if you take rise over run, that just gives us velocity. So to do this, we literally plug in for our two data points here. We've got a y value of 2, we've got the uh, other y value of 0, so we look at that change. We look at a run of 1 minus 0, and that gives us 2 uh, over 1, or 2 meters per second. And that would literally be the value of our velocity. Now remember, we need to add in a direction here, or say that positive is north, or something like that. But other than that, that's our answer. That's it for this one, real short. Remember, three bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and please do those follow-up questions on Google Form.